This is Geometry Lesson 7-7, -7, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines from a Graph. Uh, today's date is Friday, April 24th, 2020. Our objective today is to determine if two lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And I guess it's both from just points in a sentence and points on a graph. So before we even like start solving these, what does parallel mean? In terms of today's lesson, um, I'm defining it as when two lines have the same slope. If you want to draw a picture of parallel lines, you can have two lines that look like kind of an equal sign. It doesn't matter um, how far apart they are. It just matters that they are going in the, the same direction and then they never touch each other. Well, I guess they could be the same exact line, but typically they're not. Um, and then perpendicular, when two lines have slopes that are the, okay, so some vocab thrown in here and bear with me, the opposite reciprocal opposite reciprocal of each other and those words are hard let me make them a little bit easier opposite just means negative and reciprocal means flip so <clears throat> typically when i ask you um, what slopes are do perpendicular lines have and you'll say a, a negative flip or if you want to try using some academic language and push yourselves which i know most of you can you'll be using the words opposite reciprocal um, I'll show you what that looks like in one of these examples. I'm not going to reveal which one is a perpendicular line. Um, let's do example number one. So our first line passes through negative 7, 5 and negative 1, 1. So we'll have to find the slope of that line. And then another line passes through those two points. Okay, so how do we solve this? Well, let's find the slope. So I'm going to say the slope of the first line. Um, slope is just the change in y over the change in x. Some people define it as y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is my, my second point. It was the second one that was given to us. So the y coordinate of that point is positive 1. So I'll say positive 1 minus the y coordinate of my first point, 5. This is divided by the x coordinate of the second point, which is going to be negative 1 minus the x coordinate of our first point, which is negative 7. Negative 7. Um, and then 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Um, notice that I have a double negatives, so when they touch each other, they turn into a positive. Negative 1 plus 7 is negative, or sorry, positive 6. So I say down here, positive 6. And you always want to reduce a fraction if you can. And in this case, the top and bottom can both be divided by 2. So let's do that. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the slope of our first line is negative 2 thirds. Let's find the slope of our second line. I'll do it in a different color, sure. Our slope of our second line. Again, it's going to be our y2 minus y1. I'm not going to write it again, though. It's just something that you should probably memorize. So our y2 is going to be 8, the y coordinate of the second point. So 8 minus the other y coordinate, so minus 2, all divided by. So again, it has to be the negative 7 is our y2, or sorry, x2, so negative 7, and then minus that positive 2. Again, you can't, you can't mix those up, right? They're the same number. So what is 8 minus 2? That's 6. What is negative 7 minus 2? And if it helps to think about it, you're really doing um, keep change, change. You're doing negative 7 plus negative 2, which is negative 9. So I say negative 9. Again, go ahead and reduce this fraction. Divide the top and bottom both by 3. Um, you'll get 2 over negative 3. And again, both of these are the same. This can be negative 2 over 3. And this is the same as negative two thirds. It doesn't matter where the negative is, um, but the cool thing is that both of these are the same slope and by the definition up here, parallel lines are when you have the same slope. So these two lines that I gave you are parallel. So let's go ahead and write our final answer in red. You can say these two lines are parallel. Or if you're lazy, you can just write parallel, right? because you have three options. They're either parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Um, what would neither be? Neither would look like if this was maybe negative two-fourths or something. Just one of the numbers changed, so it looked a little bit off. 
Um, example two, so you can probably guess. I'm going to be thinking this is perpendicular. And I guess I didn't draw the shape of perpendicular, which I should have done. Perpendicular is when they meet at a right angle. So two lines intersect at a right angle. And that seems to be happening on visual inspection. As a general rule of thumb, yes, you can on the homework just eyeball it and say, oh yeah, those look good or they don't look good. Um, typically, I can always tell when things are not, when things are bad, and uh, but I, I have a really hard time telling if things are good. So this one, it looks like they're good, but I have to do the math to check. Um, if they clearly were looking bad, like if I had a line like this and a line like that, well, okay, yeah, those are definitely not perpendicular, nor are they parallel, so they're neither. But this one looks close, so I, I need to do the math if they ever look close. How do we do this? So it's the same thing. I have to find the slope of the red line and the slope of the blue line. Let's do the, the blue line first. So the the slope here, actually I have a, a line tool, I should use that. So I'm really making triangles whenever I'm doing slope. That's the change in X, this is the, the change in Y. So how far did I go? I went from negative five to four in the X direction. So I want a total distance of nine. So I'll say that distance is nine. And then I went um, nine to the right. So that's a positive nine. I'm, I'm assuming I'm starting at that point. It doesn't matter which one you start at. You'll get the same answer regardless. If I start at that one, I would have negative nine. There. Um, so if I'm starting at the last point, I'm gonna go up. So I'm gonna go up how much? I went from negative four all the way to one. So I went up five up five. So that means our slope for line one, I can say our slope for the blue line, our slope of that line one is changing. Again, it's always the change in Y over the change in X. I know I wrote a slightly different formula up here. I actually wrote it out more explicitly, but it's the same formula. Um, the Y is your up and down. I went up and down five, a positive five, I should add, because I went up. If I went down, it'd be a negative five. So I have a positive five over a positive nine. So theoretically, what we're expecting is our red line should have a slope of nine over five and also negative. We flipped it, right? And we made it negative. A negative flip should be the opposite reciprocal and therefore it should make it so that these lines are indeed perpendicular, which means we could also make a right angle there. So how do we check that? So how do we find the slope of that second line? Again, go ahead and make a triangle. So do I get to choose the color I do? Um, oh man, colorblind, I'm gonna guess that's red. Hopefully, I'm not choosing brown or something. So that's our line and that's our line. Coming back to our pen tool, how far did we go down? Um, well, we went from five to negative five, so I went down a total distance of minus 10 which is not looking good. That doesn't match up with either of these numbers. Maybe it reduces, I don't know. Um, and then how far did I go to the right? I went um, from negative three all the way to two. So I went right five, so positive five. And again, the slope is just your change in y over change in x. I'm not gonna write it again. So our change in y is negative 10. Our change in x is five. And you can see these are really, really close to opposite reciprocals. Again, the value that I was trying to find, if I took the opposite reciprocal of the blue here, I should have been finding something that was negative nine over five. I found negative 10 over five. These are not the same. And therefore the answer to this question is neither. Um, so in the full sentence is these two lines are neither perpendicular nor parallel, but I'm just gonna write neither. I got lazy towards the end of the notes. Um, just because they are not opposite reciprocals. They were really, really close, but they tried to trick us, or I should say Mr. Sundell tried to trick you. Um, I think, yeah, that's good enough for the notes. Nine-minute video. I'll see you guys on Monday.